Here is a simple lesson that's totally misunderstood. Two things you must know to create wealth. What do you have to know? Just two things. Number one, you have to know where you are. You have to know where you're going and you've got to get moving. Now that is so simple and it's so obvious. You have to ask yourself, why are so many people stuck? And they are. People are actually stuck. All they have to know is where they are and where they're going. Now you could say the problem is here that they don't have a goal. But I don't think it's the real one. They might have the goal and still not even be moving toward it. Why? They're being controlled by a paradigm that they don't know, they don't understand, and yet it's keeping them right where they are. Now, these are intelligent people. These people could have passed some very, very difficult exams in school, but they're stuck. And they don't understand this. They do not understand paradigm, although it's a word you're starting to hear more of nowadays. So the behavior is being controlled. You know how to do better, but you're not doing it and you don't know why. Started out when you were a kid and your mother said, why'd you do that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You know better. I know. Wait, I don't know. Now think of this. It doesn't matter how hard you work, how many hours you put in. If the paradigm does not change, ultimately the results will remain much the same from one year to the next. Now that is very discouraging for an intelligent individual. It really is. If a person is obviously not very bright, that's what they expect. They don't expect anything better than they're getting. But there's people that do expect better and they're giving it everything they've got and they're not getting it. What's the problem? It's their paradigm. We've got to learn how to make decisions. And most people don't know how to make decisions. They really don't. Now, it's too bad. You and I think on frequencies. Thought is energy. Do you know your thoughts are the most potent form of energy there is? Your thought would make the laser beam look like a toy. The results you get are nothing but the manifestation of your own thinking. We become what we think about. That is the one point that every great leader has agreed on. They've disagreed in virtually every other idea, but that one we become what we think about. Your mind and your thoughts are down here on this frequency. What you want is up here on a higher frequency. You cannot get what you want up there while your thoughts are down here. Your mind and thoughts must focus on the same frequency as what you want. If you want it, it's already here. And you make a decision, it's got to be a committed decision. You say, I'm doing that. Now, the second you make a committed decision, everything starts to change. You begin to think and act like the person you want to become. You stop thinking down there, you're thinking up here now. You're thinking on a higher frequency. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. Doesn't matter whether you have the money. But do you really want it? If you really want it, you will get it. But you've got to really want it. If you also have to understand that everything you need is here. But you've got to be specific. It's not good enough to say, I want more money. You see 10 cents laying on the street and you pick it up, you've got more money. That's the truth. Sounds silly, but it's the truth. You've got more money. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. Now, do you know, that is so important. You should write it down. Write it somewhere that you're going to see it often. Maybe get a sign and put it up in your house. Want is the only prerequisite to get what you want. You see, you've got to start 
with what you want. And that's all you need, but you've got to make an irrevocable decision, you're going to get it. So he wants the prerequisite. That's why successful people make decisions so fast. They know what they want. You only have to know what you want. It doesn't matter whether you've got the money. That makes no difference. It doesn't matter whether you've got the resources. That doesn't make any difference. It doesn't matter if you know the right people. That doesn't make any difference. Now, this sounds so preposterous to a person that's never studied this. When you're in harmony with it, you will never stop it flowing to you. Money goes where it's invited, and it stays where it's welcome. Listen to most people. The way they talk about money, you think it was the worst stuff in the world. This is powerful stuff. This is why successful people make decisions so fast. Back it up. Want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. You've got to get this, burn this into your mind. You don't even have to understand this in any depth. Just accept it. Want is the only thing. Just, you want it, but you've got to really want it. If you really want it, that's all you need. You don't need the money. You don't need to know how you're going to get it. You don't need to know any of that stuff, but you've got to really want it. You see, when you really want it, and you make a decision, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on. The way to get it is already here. Get, but you've got to get in harmony or you're never going to figure it out. That's why when you get on that frequency, that's the only information that can come to you. Get the information you need to get there. You've done this. You've done this in different times, not really understanding what you've done. This is pretty basic. But it's very misunderstood. See, your results should always be under construction. Always. Should never be satisfied with where you are. Now, as a little kid, Grandma always told me I should be satisfied. Grandma was wrong. She was like an angel of God, a dear little old woman. But she was wrong. Your results should always be under construction. You always want to be improved. Now you got to ask, are you ready to change? Now think of this. People do not resist change. That's a misnomer. A lot of people say people resist change. That's not true. People resist being changed. When you go to change, the people that you're closest to, you're causing them to change. They've got to adapt to your absence. They've got to adapt to the new you, and they don't want to do that. They want you to stay the same. Then they're they don't have change. You see, you really got to ask yourself, what do you really want?